seeing an Asian Barbie doll on the shelf, instead of it being like, you know, Asian American Barbie doll, just girls growing up and seeing it on the shelf and it not being a big deal, it not being this thing, I think is huge. And I think that goes back to the four of us just being ourselves and doing what we do. Yeah, it's such an honor to be just portrayed alongside such, you know, badass women. I liked the director a lot. I thought that she had a really strong vision for what she was trying to do. And honestly, I just feel like there aren't a lot of films about this. So I always love to just try new things and be one of the first people to do something. So in terms of representing Asian women, I don't feel a pressure now. I feel a desire to be great and excellent in the work because I think that for me growing up, I didn't really have great role models who just look like you. It is something that I feel so blessed to be able to do, but I wouldn't say it's a pressure because I think it's more of a gift, like a privilege to be able to do it. I know it's not a woman, but G Dragon was cool to me growing up because he always did what he wanted to do. He was one of the first like Asian people who I thought really broke a lot of stereotypes publicly. But also I was thinking about this when I was shooting the film. I think it's actually in some ways, not a blessing is not the right word, but there's silver lining to it because you look at myself, Malibu Mitch, Deb Never, and Joyce Rice, and you just see how different we are and we're just all being ourselves. There isn't one way to be. There isn't like, oh, this is the role model. Like you have to be like Lucy Liu or you have to be like Sandra Oh. Like that's not a thing. You can see so clearly across the four of us that we're just being ourselves. We're just human beings who just happen to have Korean American, you know, Japanese American, whatever experiences. But we really are just human and we're just being ourselves. Sacrifice for me is in a like in a bubble is just so I feel like it's so much more shallow where it's really just me and my life like not going out as much or this is my whole life and having a really close circle around me but outside of that not really having much of a social life I feel like maybe that's a sacrifice but it's really nothing compared to like my grandma fleeing wars by foot or her mom you know never going to school or her mom you know, being treated terribly because she's a woman. Like, it's really nothing compared to what they've gone through. But, you know, I think the sacrifice just kind of evolves every generation. There is no one way to be, there's no normal. Like, just be your goddamn self and, you know, just be good at what you do. I think that the biggest thing is normalizing. I think that's a great word. Seeing an Asian Barbie doll on the shelf instead of it being like Asian American Barbie doll, just girls growing up and seeing it on the shelf and it not being a big deal, it not being this thing, I think is huge. And I think that goes back to the four of us just being ourselves and doing what we do. But I think the ultimate goal in all of that is for you know girls like us, especially when we were younger, to grow up feeling like it's so normal, like to be able to do whatever you wanna do. It's not like this, like token thing or or you have to fill a certain role because you're Asian American. It's just, no, this is real life. This is normal. Like you can do whatever you want to do. In commercials, I grew up watching t so much TV and I feel like as I get older, I see more interracial couples in commercials too. And it's normal. It's not like this is a cup. This is a commercial about interracial couples. No, it's just, this is real life. People don't care as much anymore. And it's, we're getting closer to equality. Of course, it's a very far, long journey, but we're getting closer. And I think for me, like, I didn't get, I didn't really get that, oh, it's so normal. And I, I just want that for this generation. I think we're all, like getting closer for sure. I had to think of a new name, a second name, because it was very hard to find me on the internet when I just went by Audrey. And I just grew up, hearing Audrey Nuna all the time. So I was like, that resonates, that feels like me. So, and no one else knows what it is, except for the people, I guess, who are also named Audrey with younger brothers. Like all the Korean girls named Audrey with younger brothers, like that is a very specific breed of person. I never thought about that.